Doing the 360 defense requires you keep your body in motion at all times, using your arms to defend different angles of attack. The key is keeping your arms at an oblique angle with your hands open and straight so that you don't take any blows straight on. Each is deflected down the angle of your forearm, which reduces its impact. The hyperextension of the elbow, created by pulling back on the locked arm, virtually ensures that he will be taken down. The knee strike to the wrist dislodges the knife and further loads the elbow and shoulder. The technique can easily result in damage to the elbow joint, the tendons of the rotator cuff, or even a broken arm. First, the opponent's arm works as a lever to optimize your control. Second, your own back serves as a pivot point for the throw. The strength and stability of your back allows you to throw a much heavier opponent than in a move that requires you to lift him. This kick is all about speed. The further the foot travels, the greater its acceleration, and the more dangerous a weapon it becomes. Powered by the muscles of the hip flexor and the quadriceps, by the time your foot reaches your opponent's throat, it's traveling nearly 40 miles per hour. That type of speed yields over 1,000 pounds of force, enough to puncture the Adam's apple and crush your windpipe. It's aimed at the largest gland in the human body, the liver. A direct hit won't just bring an opponent down, it can rupture the gland, causing severe internal bleeding. But the liver is well protected by the ribcage, so the kick must be accurate to within half an inch.